right, folks. Here I am down here under this bridge in Japan. I was just about to go home. I was getting ready to put my bike over the railing here and I saw this on the ground. And I was like, huh, looks like a bone. It looks like a human bone. So what we're gonna do is there's the uh, indention from it. We're going to take this to the, uh, the Koban, to the police station. Let them work it out. Maybe they'll bring me back here to find out exactly where I found it. I don't know. It's probably not a human bone, but shit. I don't know bones very well. If you tell me that's a human bone, I'll believe you. Well, hello there. Thanks for stopping by. Everything you are about to see is true. I neither planted the bone in question, nor did I know what sort of drawn-out adventure this was going to take me on. However, I knew once I found the bone, it was my duty to alert the authorities, so I did just that. I sort of know my way around this area of town, as I ride my bike here frequently. I wasn't sure where the nearest Koban was, so I had to plug that into the GPS and get directions. A Koban is a small neighborhood police station, often very small in fact, as you shall see. Usually one story, staffed by one or two officers at a time. They provide maps and directions, they act as the area lost and found, take crime reports, offer emergency services, etc. Pardon me, ladies. I once found a ring of keys, and when I returned it to the nearest Koban, they wanted my contact info so the owner could give me a reward if they chose to. The nearest Koban to where I found the bone is just across this intersection. Let's see what happens when I try and turn in this bone. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. It says 24 hours. Well, that was a bust. Next stop, the large central police station near my house. Surely there will be someone there who can help. As a side note, this is an area of town that I ride around a lot. In fact, those of you familiar with my Uninvited series, where I go around and access high-rise boiler rooms and helipads, will be interested to know that the bridge where I found the bone is just a bone's throw from the Seiko building. Here's the infamous UFO Love Hotel near my house.
My interaction with the police here is notable for my poor command of the Japanese language. I will show you first what I thought was being said. Now, because the camera is on my helmet, you can't see that I'm showing them the bone, giggity, so I will add that through the magic of clever editing. Pay close attention to the subtitles. すいません。はい。牛ですか分かりません。当たんです。拾った。拾ったんですかさあ、どうしてたのはい。あ、あ、橋橋。under橋。あ、成功ビル。そうだ。成功のビル。成功ビルは。分かるの幕張はいはいは
with the uh, phone number. Oh, here's a button. Hold on a second. Huh. All right. So I waited, but only for a few minutes before the officer showed up. Unfortunately, I have a bad habit of not recording important stuff, so the interaction I had at this Koban will have to be reenacted. Pardon me, officer? Well, hello there. How may I help you? Well, I found this bone under a bridge in Makuhari near the Seiko building. What do you think? Oh my, that is an interesting find. I suggest you go to the Koban nearest to where you found it and turn it in. Yeah, I tried that, sir. There was nobody there. Well, you should try again. Okay, thanks. My pleasure. <sighs> Here we go, I guess. And this is where things get interesting. I returned home and shared my find with Mrs. Salmon. She made a bone call to the first Koban on my behalf, and an officer answered. He asked that I bring the bone to them, and detectives would meet me there to look at what I had found. So, once again, I hopped on my bike and headed out. As you can see, night has fallen, but I would not be deterred. I was going to see this through, Dagnabbit. Here I was returning to the first Koban that was unmanned when I had come earlier. Well, this time, as I mentioned, an officer is there, and he is expecting me. While I'd been lighthearted about this little adventure, the truth is, I really didn't know if what I had found was human. While it's true I found it beside a busy road, the area was not a place one would normally travel on foot, or in my case on a bicycle. So it seemed possible that what I'd found was human, but more likely animal. What was surprising to me at this point was the fact that half a dozen police officers had seen me and my bone, giggity, at this point and not one of them had taken it seriously. That was all about to change. Put my mask on. And let's go see how this plays out. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
はい、わかります。<笑>ここに来ます。はい。ありがとうございます。So now, shit was getting real. This guy was taking it serious, which was a nice change. And in just a few moments, the big dogs were coming in. The detectives trained in forensics. I knew as soon as they took one look at my bone, giggity, they would either send me packing or we had ourselves. A true, true crime crime. The story you are about to hear is true. Only the names have been changed to protect the innocent. Hi. Who is this guy? Inu this guy? わかりませんこれはうわちょっとこれはこれはちょっと骨なのかな軽いですよね古い骨かこれサンゴか軽いですよねこんにちは。こんにちは。先ほど電話した千葉西警察の千葉と申します。はい。今旦那さんと接触してます。はい。あのこれから。はい。あの見つけた場所案内してほしいんですけど。はい。あ,あ,あれお家近いんですよ。ここからおか奥さんとの家って。えー、っと千葉千葉。あのここから旦那さん自転車で帰るとどのぐらいで着きますかねうーん20分ぐらいですかね20分、はい、も,もしあれだったら一、はい、回を旦那さん家に帰ってもらって、はい、あの奥さんと一緒にそこからちょっと案内できしたいなと思ってるんですけどあはい,じゃないとあの車でそうそう私たちの車で一緒に乗ってああはい大丈夫ですようんじゃないとちょっと厳しいかなと思って。私たちは車ないので、うん、じゃあ一回、うん、はい、一回ちょっと旦那さんに帰ってもらいますよ、そしたら。あ、はい、わかりました。うん、で、ちょっと伝えてもらって、そこから奥さんと一緒に旦那さん私たちの車に乗って、あ、あの、はい、見つけた場所を案内してもらうってところにしますんで。はい、わ、はい、かりました。はい、ちょっとそのまま伝えてください。はい。And so I once again rode back home, and within a few minutes they arrived to pick us up. Thank God they were in an unmarked car because gossip is the national pastime in Japan, and being taken away in a police car would have lit the town on fire. In any case, we soon arrived at Bone Bridge. <laughs> あそこ。
Do you have a、uh, flashlight? Let me see a flashlight. Yeah, no, so that's a good thing. Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
it is. <laughs> Why are we back in the car already? They're, they're taking it pretty seriously. Well, look at them. Me too. Yeah. Check it out. Okay. <laughs> What's going on over oh. here? Sure here. some more bones over here but they look like chicken bones So this is actually the end of the adventure. They drove us home and promised to call us back the next day, which they did. The final verdict? It was an animal bone. As for what kind of animal it came from, I posted that question in the subreddit r slash bone collecting. Shout out to Peeled Human Grape and Rochester Bones for clarifying that this was the distal end of a femur bone from a young livestock animal, most likely a pig or a calf. Well, that's all we got from the Bone Zone. Be with us next time when we bring an entire human corpse into a Koban and are met with blank stares and allowed to leave. <laughs> Weird. I only have 56 episodes of Bones on here. Yesterday, I had 57. Hey, Bones. Look at this bone. I know, but did you see this bone? Where'd you find that bone? Same place you got your bone. It was just sitting here, next to this bone. Dr. Brennan, bone call. They said it was important. Something about a bone? And I am Dr. Brennan, the guardian of all bones everywhere. I love bones. You know what I get from watching bones? A big, throbbing smile. <laughs>